Hello, I'm very happy to introduce you to the Point 15 version of the Routine Desktop app, which comes with a lot of new things. First, the inbox has been moved to the top. That's a detail. What's really important is that now the inbox summarizes everything that needs to be organized, not just the tasks that need to be planned, but also the untitled notes and the unanswered meetings. So really great to know that we are, you have one place to focus your attention for things that need to be planned or decided, basically. Now, something else that has been improved is everything about recurring tasks, as this task, as you can see here. So on one side, we've made those a lot better because now you can delete them. You can also see them, overview them in the recurrences uh, tab in the task. You can see all the recurring tasks, including the ones that are, have been stopped or are currently running. You can delete them very easily. And what happens when you delete them is that the future occurrences are also automatically deleted. Same thing if you stop a, a recurring task, the future occurrences get deleted so that it doesn't mess with your system. But even more, actually, you can now create recurring tasks in your notes. So in pages, contacts, other tasks, events, wherever you want. So if you were to take a page like this one, you could very much say, I'm going to create a task and say, send invoice every month. And that would actually create a recurring task. But you can also say, starting on the, on the specific date until 2027, if I want to, and if I press enter, as you can see, now the icon is not just a checkbox, it's a regular checkbox, which means that this is a full-fledged recurring task. Also, on the, on the events and recurring events more specifically, we've done a lot of work to allow you to actually edit and delete recurring events. So now, if you were to change the frequency, uh, you can actually uh, uh, put custom frequencies, but also if you were to change, let's say, the time, let's say at uh, uh, something like that, 3.30, it, you're going to have the possibility of updating this event, this and the following, or all events, which is really, really useful, obviously, for managing all uh, your uh, recurring activities. Now, on the keyboard shortcut side, as you might have seen, uh, we've added a lot of keyboard shortcuts, including for managing the pane. So the left pane here, the bottom as well, but also the all day section. So you can use keyboard shortcuts for very easily showing those. Same thing for the bottom that allows you to really quickly uh, uh, manage your view. But also we've displayed the keyboard shortcut associated with every action here, but also in the uh, menu here, uh, so that allows you uh, uh, to really know quickly, but also for the buttons in the tooltip. So very easy to discover uh, the keyboard shortcut and actually adopt them to go faster. Finally, uh, something that we've done, which is, uh, I think, more comprehensible, is that before the actions for the task was complete or ignore. The ignore has been renamed want to. It speaks better to people. So you could do something like this. It's going to be displayed with a strike through. And uh, same thing for the events uh, where you wanted an event, for instance, like maybe this one, not to be displayed in the agenda. You were ignoring it before. Now it's something else. Actually, this is a bug, interesting. You can hide it from the agenda. And likewise, you could show it in the agenda, which is uh, the exact opposite. So uh, again, more comprehensible when it comes to those actions which were all named ignore before. The final thing that we have uh, done is improving the notes a little bit. Now, if you have a, a note like a page, uh, you can actually do up and down to select the blocks very easily, escape to deselect, but also enter to put the focus in the block that you have selected. Uh, that's something. But also the slash command has been reworked to display both the slash command and also the markdown shortcut to go faster, like creating a task, for instance. 
That's basically it for the 0.15 uh, version. A lot more is coming in the next versions, of course, but this one brings routine closer to the 1.0 uh, because it's now uh, providing an app which is more consistent overall. Thank you.